Hi, I'm Hillary Halstead Scott, and please welcome Katie Hacker to the Halstead Jewelry video. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us, Katie. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. Well, today we're going to talk about our XE series of easy ear and card punches by Pack a Smile, and we're also going to go over the tassel trend, which is so hot right now. Everybody loves tassels, and the new lookbook has a whole spread on tassels and fringe, so make sure that you check that out. We're also going to talk about how to put together a quick pair of earrings. That's so it's like a 10 second pair of earrings because the tassels are pre-made. Now, of course, you could use a tassel that you make with footage chain. And if you were going to do that, you would just string them all together, add your bead cap and make a loop. And we have instructions for that on the blog. But to get started with this type, all you have to do is use your pliers and open the loop at the top and then string it on to your post. I happen to be using a little post with a heart, but you could use any type of ear wire that you like, whether that's a French wire or another type, and then you're ready to put it on your ear card. That's right. Super simple, right? Super simple, and tassels make fantastic pendants that could go on the front of a necklace or even a little back dangle right at your clasp. I love those. I love those I like too. the lanyard and lariats too, where you have a tassel on each end and then you can tie your necklace in the front. Those are fun too. Those are really It fun. also makes a good addition to a bracelet. Mm -hmm. It does, and you can dress up tassels by adding little charms or beads at the ends of the chain to add some extra visual interest to your dangle. That's right. I also like using links to attach them. Mm -hmm. So rather than directly attaching this tassel right to my ear wire here, I could put a link in between and that would be fun. Absolutely. Add some more flair. That's right, and I think this tassel trend will have real staying power because there are so many things you can do with it. Well, in the 70s are going to be hot all through summer. That's right. I know some people are cringing a little bit, but I love it. I'm right. excited. Got your platforms. Here we go. That's right. Okay, so, so we also I also want to show um, how easy it is to use these punches to make a custom earring card. And this is fantastic because it can go with any branding that you have for your line. That's right. You could use your business card or you could use some different colors of cardstock. Anything that ha has the look that you're going for, you can make it completely custom. That's right. So these punches are super simple. You just take your pre-cut cardstock. You'll want to push it all the way to the back. Make sure it really hits that back end so things line up nicely and it's really smooth and easy to punch on through. So it may be a little tough, but right here we have our little tiny holes. So go ahead and give me an earring, and then you just hang those through on any paper you choose. So this gives you absolute control over your packaging so that you can do anything you like. That's right, you can make it completely your own, and it really can fit with any jewelry line that you're designing. Fantastic, well thanks for being here today, Katie. We you're really welcome. enjoyed having you. It's always fun.